All right, guys, we are back. One night with Steiny. Before we get into the episode, you have to download Prize Fix. NFL season is right around the corner. My game of the week is the Jets and the Bills at MetLife. Monday night football on 9-11. I think Aaron Rodgers is going to be a little bit rusty, so I'm going to go less passing yards on him. I think Kirko Banks is going to have more than two rushing yards, and I think Jared Goff is going to have a big game and have more on passing yards. DM me your picks. I want to see who you guys are picking. Let's get on a heater together. Use code NELT. They're going to match your deposit up to $100. Download Prize Picks right now. Let's go, baby. All right. Yeah. Restarting, rebranding. One night with Sonny. We got episode 17 um bryce hall the biggest gangster right now in social media probably <laughs> sky Bree, who's hiding her identity are she's you on laughing her... at that yo can i finish sorry go. Okay, sorry uh because she's on her paparazzi and then we have the Shut one and only up. probably my favorite tiktoker right now brecky hill me too she was a sleeper thank but you. she is really crushing thank you so much um, killing it thank you i think i want to start out with uh the fact that there's three of us that are going through a rebrand uh, Wait, Bryce. which three? Bryce is actually no longer known as a TikToker. He's known what, as a fighter. What do you think you're new a a yeah. world chat champion. What's your new identity? Dude, I, I feel like I'm just an entertainer now. Okay. Like, I wouldn't say, like, I'm a a social media... Like, there's not one social media that defines me. I, th I think I'm just, like, now just an entertainer. But are you a fighter or are you... Like, entertainer. Balanced. Okay. Like, a fighter Fighter would be, like, I dedicated my life to it. I okay. definitely didn't do that. I would say, like, just entertainer. I do stuff that entertains the public. Got it. Um, I'm going this, like, uh, motivational David Goggins route. Okay. So I've, like, really, like, focused on my mental health, my physical health. Um, I'm, this is my rebrand. Hell yeah. You were actually an inspiration for that, too. Dude, I saw you at the gym the other day, and I was like, yo, we should... Like work out. Yeah, we're going to. We're gonna do like but a massive. He has been hitting the gym. I've seen yeah. your stories. Massive body transformation yeah. coming soon. Yeah, and I'm getting. Good swole. for you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. And then Sky, what's your rebrand? I'm just me. I don't know. I'm an entertainer. Sky Bree, you are also an entertainer. I'm an yeah. entertainer. You are not. You yeah. are not like an OnlyFans girl. You are a name. Yeah, it's it's weird because I feel like I'm branded as a, but I feel like that's not really what I'm what i am because mm -hmm. i've never done a professional like scene no so i feel like most people know me by like youtube videos and like shit like that i think yeah. you're more of a like youtuber than you are <laughs> for sure yeah and you're in streamer streamer i think streamer, i'm right? just like yeah. really twitch yeah. streamer now twitch is what i do full time i just think i'm like that annoying person on the internet that you like can't get rid of like i work with like the most random people mm -hmm. and, and then Brecky. everywhere You've kind of doubled down as this like troll. All right, no, what? I wouldn't say double down. <laughs> but Did you see I'm the just Pirates doing my thing. Jersey? I didn't. Okay, what? so uh, can we talk about it? Sure. This other girl, I don't know if you know her. She, her name's Livy. She's dating like a pitcher for the Pirates. I know Livy Dunn. But like, I think Brecky also might be dating her. Dating her? Or dating him? I'm not dating him. You did a TikTok in his jersey the other day, no? Yeah, but that doesn't mean I'm dating him. Are you? <laughs> Are you trying to start shit with Livy? No, there's nothing to start here. Like, still? No, I'm not starting anything. So why'd you do a video in his jersey? Yeah, are you a fan of the Pirates, or? I'm not a fan, no. Do you I know just anything don't, about I don't the kiss Pirates? and tell, so. Why? Oh, wait. Wait, wait, say that again. I don't kiss and tell. Yeah, and honestly, So you were wearing a jersey, alluding to the fact that you've kissed but you're not going to tell us if we ask you. I'm not alluding to the fact that I've kissed. I just won't I won't talk about it on this podcast. But we weren't even talking about hooking up. We were just saying like why were you filming in a Well, Irish I mean, there's jersey. no other why would I why else would I be wearing his jersey? Okay, well, really quick. Also, I don't really appreciate you guys both kind of teaming up because why can't she just be a Pirates fan? I mean, do you know yes, anything? Why can't she just be a Pittsburgh fan. fan? Seriously. I I'm not a fan. No, do you know like, anything why? about the Pirates? Maybe she's yeah. just a Pirates fan and she likes the so, same guy. So, like, what do you know about the Pirates? They're a baseball team for Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Shout Ooh. out Pennsylvania, Check Lancaster, too. where Pennsylvania. Sky Bree is from. See, like, I would try to, like, ask you more questions, but I know nothing about the Pirates. Okay. So ask her about the Pirates. Me. No, she's she's right. Absolutely. No, Bryce what? was pressing me there for a second trying to get me. He didn't, though. No, I nice was just, you wanna I was know just why? wondering. Nice like you said, Wait, why did this why? start so hot? I know, like, everyone's, yeah. like, right I don't at know. it. I feel like that's Bryce was coming at me for a second. Well, there's, oh, well, there's some, like, down. tension between me and Brecky. I don't know why. I feel like it's because... I mean, I'm not... I don't sexual attention? Can I Can I take the floor here? I feel like it's kind of because he's, like, a fighter kind of now, and, like, you look amazing, and it's, like... That's his tactic of it's trying to raise the It's the It's like building up. Yeah, exactly. Let's yeah. talk. Wait, let's talk about that. Now you're the fucking <laughs> biggest badass. What? 
How I do would, I find? I, I want to find that. You just I want would, a huge ass fight? Okay, I bare would knuckle say, boxing? I would never do that. I did a bare knuckle fight. Would not say that I'm the biggest badass in the world, but I would say like I've done something that no influencer boxer will will ever do. And why did you decide to do that? Just to like show how big you my. You put balls yourself were. out there. No, seriously. <laughs> yeah. how, how big was the bag? Um, it was it was a good payday, but that was not the main reason I did it. It was a. Uh, I came off of a loss from a YouTube dad. Yeah. A bad loss. Okay, Sky. It was bad. We <laughs> all know. Sky, let me tell my story. I didn't story. even see your last let me, fight. Good. It was, no, it was me, bad, and you even admitted that it was bad. It was bad. I didn't I've showcase my skill. I didn't really take that seriously. I, I fought a guy that trained for two years, and I was like there for just the, the bag that they told me that I was going to receive. So mm-hmm. I did that. Lost embarrassingly on his uh, on his promotion, and then I took a two year break, a hiatus, completely changed my personality on online, and then wait, I was in like, what way? Yeah, why'd you do that? Um, I took a lot of mushrooms, like, like a chocolate? shit ton. Yeah. Okay. But oh, one day you I were had, like, one of those people that you believe like the mushroom heals your brain. Like well, that wait, let's hear his experience. What was no, the experience? Uh, it, it was more like I just took a bunch of mushrooms and then I. I had like this crazy, like ego death vision. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, you want to walk us felt like, that? Felt like I died. Um, and then I had like this weird. Um, <laughs> this is my first time explaining it. Uh, I had like a f- a, a death, um, publicly in my head that I was envisioning, and then seeing like outlets report on it. So I was like, that's not what I want to be like. Fuck, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't know so if I weird. want to take those shrooms. It's a lot. <laughs> yeah, no, it was it was a really weird experience. But Stanion I had that. on shrooms would be like my nightmare. You don't want to do that. Yeah, you don't want to do them with me straight up. <laughs> Lock me I would in a room with Stiney on shrooms. No. I don't think I would make it out alive. Yeah, Imagine definitely. mushrooms in this room. <laughs> okay, so wait, I you took the that. shrooms and then what? You decided, yo, I got to fucking fight someone bare knuckle? No, no, no. I changed my content. And then uh, like the, how, bare, the bare knuckle shit came because. How do you change your content, though? I, I just stopped doing like. TikTok dances, stop making fun of people. Yeah, because uh, I know people like were like, oh, way. yeah, Bryce rebranded himself because before people on the internet did not like him and he just like changed all of his content up. No, yeah, I saw I didn't a lot even of... see what you did before, but now I just know you make like funny content. I saw a stuff. lot of comments saying like, Bryce Hall's actually kind of funny. Like, I think you you're really funny. I watch your videos have... and genuinely laugh. So, Thanks. yeah. Okay, wait, was you know, this before too. or after the fight? After. This is uh, before. I would say it's <laughs> been starting in like. I would like say it's December. Been, I would say it's been the past like six months. Yeah, ish. like people have really been changing their mind on you, saying like, "Why is Bryce Hall actually kind of funny?" Huh. Thanks. How how did that change for you then? Um, like, I thought personally, I thought it was always funny, funny, but it came off across as like um like a douchey funny. Yeah. So like a young guy blowing up on the internet, super confident. Mm-hmm. It was like uh. Like a cocky douchebag funny. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then it was self humility. So <laughs> it was like I would make fun of myself for my past fuck ups. Yeah. So that would kind of like go into my content where I would make fun of myself because honestly, that's hilarious. Yeah. Like everything that I've done that was fucked up in the public eye, I could easily make fun of and make it funny. So what part of you, was any part of you like, yo, I give this image like I'm a TikTok dancer and now I have to become a badass and fight bare knuckle. No, it, it was never, I, I never wanted like the, the public eye to think that I'm like a badass. Mm-hmm. I'm just like a dude that makes content to entertain people. Um, How many people hit you up after and were like showing your respect? A lot, actually. Like I had, I had Loki, the most I random people. Low-key, I didn't respond. I, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> How much, what percentage did your ego grow? Not, I feel like you're, you your ego is already up there a bit. Wait, why are, <laughs> why are you saying that? I mean, I've met Bryce before this. No, I, I, I'm he was a, nice I to you probably, right? Like, I know his... his I know... Brecky, stop flirting with me. Yeah, I know this guy's game. Um, he was definitely... Okay, I, I, like, I won't even I'm say not, what happened I'm before not. this podcast started. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I heard about it. Okay, wait. Go ahead. What were you saying? His ego. Nothing. Yeah, What, ha- said, what happened the first time you guys met? Um, I don't, I don't want to bring it up. You hit? No, not it has nothing to do with me. I just don't want to bring up the other name. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say it brought my ego up at all. I would say like I'm already like a very confident person. I feel like you have to be confident in this business. For sure. I believe in myself 100. percent I wouldn't be here if I didn't. 
No, you're not winning disrespectful a bear- with your ego at all. Like you're winning- very you're very respectful, I think. Thank you, Brecky. Yeah. Winning a bare knuckle nice fight, person. it was more like I did it because I just knew nobody else would and regardless of the fact of my last fight results, it would just put me at a a different level than than all the YouTube boxers, the people that like kind of dedicate their life to this. I kind of just like hopped in there and I was like, fuck it, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I did it. Good for you. Are you considering going like the Jake Paul route? No. Where you don't want to take it serious? No. I, Can I, I, you I don't see yourself doing another one though? Like, do yeah. you have you, any plans for another one? A bare knuckle fight? Um, or any you type suited of... up for it and everything. You might as well. Wait, what's what's the adrenaline like when you're walking into that shit? So I did uh, one hour of a breathing. I did like an hour in backstage breathing techniques. Um, I, I did... can't even imagine. Bro. I, 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 wa- I was watching like all the fights back there, shitting my ass out, mm-hmm. um, seeing like everybody's face get fucked up, banging in the middle, completely forgetting my training again. Um, and I was telling my trainer and my manager, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> I was freaking out. Uh, started breathing, taking deep breaths, uh, remembering everything that I that I learned in my camp, how hard I worked, how hard it was to get to this weight. It was, uh, it was a lot. Mm-hmm. So you kind of like see me in my walkout and nobody kind of like points it out but like I, in my walkout i walked out to like the andrew tate song which was supposed yeah, to be yeah, like that was a, dope. like a troll and kind of funny mm. but uh you see me in like the middle of my walkout i kind of put my hands out here and i go <sighs> and like people are like yo what the fuck is he doing like is he meditating and i'm like yeah that's actually exactly what i was doing i was like completely breathing mm-hmm. to regulate my heartbeat yeah breathing just, like, ex- exercises yeah, it, are everything it, it completely calmed me down that's good. So I was like ready in there, uh, completely snapped in my in my brain. Like this is doesn't even matter how many people are watching right now. I'm here to fight another how, dude. How afraid are you if you do take a loss in that situation? I didn't care to lose. Okay. It there, didn't there, even look like he stood a chance though. Um, I only saw a part of it, but every time I saw it, it looked like Bryce said a Yeah, big... what were you thinking? Like what what if you lose? Like what were you Everyone do. would clown him on the internet. No, no. it was a, it was a bare knuckle fight fair. against a three and bare knuckle fighter. Yeah, it's crazy. Bro. But he didn't even stand a chance, so you were good. And honestly, <laughs> I fucking have a similar situation too. I uh, was gonna get a green juice two days ago. A green juice? Like, uh, have you ever had a green juice? You're on your kale? you're on your health cleanse. I was going to the press juicery, and me and this guy started fighting over this parking spot. <laughs> And I'm serious, bro. He gets out of his car. He's like, I can't see you. He's like, he's like 65, someone. and he's like, yo, bro, I, I was gonna you, fucking park here. I can't here. see you like defending yourself to someone else. Sunny I did. I think stranger. I could beat you. In okay, the well, can I finish? Boxing. So this guy gets out of his car. He's like, yo, I'm, I'm here before <laughs> I, you. I even think I could, and I'm like shorter than him too. Well, anyway. Anyway, <laughs> we're to, talking about day. your parking. So, uh, anyway, this guy was like trying to fucking fuck with me after I had a green juice, and I was like, bro, I'm not fucking having it, and I size him up, and he dipped. But I had a similar adrenaline. But I just think, like, I don't think I could get in that type of, like, boxing world. Especially after watching Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis. I know you're, uh, you've been trolling. Dylan Dennis is insane. He's been trolling Logan a little bit. You have. I see that on Twitter. I'm like, fuck, bro. You're kind of coming at this guy. What's good with that? Uh, Logan? I, I don't, I don't even, like, troll Logan. I don't know. Our relationship, me and Logan, is so weird. I feel like, in person, so cool, Mm -hmm. right? Like, super dope, like, very, uh, almost, like, brotherly reaction, like, interactions. But then, like, online, he'll shit on me with KSI, and, and KSI will, like, shit on me. And what Logan do they will be say? Like, they just talk shit about my last fight. They say, like, oh, I'm just, like, a, like a shit talker. I can't back it up, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So are Kinda you like on Dylan's size, side? I'm cool with Dylan. Like, I really like Dylan. Dylan, it, the, off camera... Dylan is one of the the coolest dudes. Yeah. I partied I'll, with him. I'll agree. Very with that. nice. He even messaged me like leading up to my fight. He was like, "Prove the world wrong. You got this shit. Like, don't listen to everybody. Like, just do your thing. Train your ass off for this." Like, he was mm-hmm. he was like one of the only dudes on social media that reached out to me and was like, "Yo, mm-hmm. you got." This. I had to block Dylan because he was really weird towards me. Okay. And he he would hit me up when I was eighteen, but I was like not into it, and I made that clear. And then I blocked him on everything but Instagram. And then he messaged me. He's like, why did you block me? It was it's just weird. Because yeah. what is he, like, 32? Uh, I think he's 29. I will say we did him okay. on the podcast. And, like, 
off camera he's a really cool very dude. genuine dude genuine dude you know yeah. what's can interesting i ask you two something really quick though? he's probably just trying to smash how come yeah, how I come know, how come more girls aren't coming to nina logan's fiance's aid and being like yo this guy's being a dick i mean yeah so True. like are girls afraid or like they're because no one's oh really... i don't give a fuck what he's saying about nina like i don't care he's just being a troll but but why do you think more girls aren't like yo we got to stick up for this girl like she's going at I don't know. There's not a female audience there. Yeah. You 100%. know what's interesting to me, though? I remember months... Who was Dylan supposed to fight before? KSI. KSI. Mm -hmm. When all of that shit was going on, Dylan was being clowned so hard. Everyone was making fun of him. But now that he's fighting Logan and he's tweeting all this shit, everyone's... Everyone is on Dylan's side. Why but is previous, no one, on my side no one was people? on Dylan's side. Everyone was Thank trolling you. him. No one liked him. I used to follow Dylan, and I would get, like, people in person would come up to me, and they'd be like, why are you following Dylan? Like, he's like a loser. How like, long ago was this, though? I mean, when he was set to fight but with KSI? KSI, yeah. Okay. And people would make me feel like, like I was weird for following him. But now that he's going against Logan, and he's doing this whole, like, tweet spree thing now people are all for dylan but they weren't when he was about to fight ksi everyone thought like dylan was the loser okay i'm gonna just throw this out there scott who's right there called me the other night and he goes yo i think this is a conspiracy and In he goes yo i think that nina made that video you saw the video obviously you, you retweeted it for being like i need a big sausage it which was funny. obviously i have i wasn't I didn't know she posted that video, but yeah. I was there. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, yo, this is a conspiracy. She made that video. They're going to make a huge bag. This is all part of the plan. With Dylan and Nina and Logan? Yeah, like it's all People part of the plan. People think that about me and Livy. When I meet like fans in real life, they're like, oh, you and Livy don't actually like dislike each other, right? I was like, no, we do. I well, mean, yeah. I can see it because a lot of drama is started just to like market and make money. But I mean, also, like I feel like half of it is real. Yeah. So I feel like this, considering they just got married, it's it's real, in my opinion. Do okay. you think Dylan's taking it too far? No. You love this, huh? I I think like a like the fight game's the fight game. Yeah. Like, he is drawing the most amount of eyes. I think it was what two billion in the past. Uh, How crazy is month, that, bro? Mm -hmm. Bro, you should be on your knees. Right. You should be on your knees that everybody and their mom knows about this. Do you fight. guys think it's <laughs> fucked up that he's targeting? Like a girl who has no skin in the game. His Twitter engagement the past month is insane. It's nothing like I've ever seen. I think I can understand what he's doing. I think it's super, super entertaining. But I also think it is a little bit petty because she isn't involved. And I think it's kind of like an easy blow to mm -hmm. go towards, yeah. like, the only going th towards his fiance like no, it's for easy sure. wait but it's easy okay wait let's just say like the last girl i slept with right and someone went after every guy she's ever been with mm -hmm. there might be 500 photos yeah so mm -hmm. why is that not being talked about right like there's 75 photos out there or whatever it is but like let's pull up your history there's probably a fucking right. 10, they can post so many e pictures of Addison Ray, like it, it would never end. Her or whoever else. See, I think uh, the only thing that I'll like say against Dylan, because I actually like the dude, his only shit talk tactic is making fun of his his fiance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that there is so much more to shit on about Logan than his fiance. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I would. I would shit on Logan way more than he's doing his fiance. Like you got the juice. Yeah. You have the juice. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You've made fun of every single guy that she's been with, which right. which is countless guys. Clearly, right. Right. Now make fun of your opponent. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I feel like, yeah. I feel like it's worse yeah. though if he makes fun of his fiance. It gets. I don't know. I just feel like it provokes people. Right more. at this point, it's too easy. It's like you have to now like go after Logan. Like it's yeah. kind of like it's it's too easy. Bro, there's that like he's going after the fiance. Millions like, of things you can make fun of. Right. Logan. Yeah. Millions. You think you can mm -hmm. take Dylan in boxing? Yeah. You'd have to I'd see. Yeah, like, I, I don't I, think so. I really he's like. So mysterious, bro. You I really know. like Dylan. Like that's the thing. Like I really like. He's my boy. Mm -hmm. Like I, it's just boxing is different. Right. Boxing is different. He is a jujitsu MMA god. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Like he is one of the best jujitsu grapplers. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. the world, oh, we know that. Yeah. Um, boxing using your hands. 
different. So who would you pick to win? Um, I think so. Logan's going to win, honestly. I think uh, I think it's a very, very... From the outside outside perspective, Logan looks like the, the massive favorite. But I think it's a lot more fair than people are giving it credit for. I think mm-hmm. it is a very 50-50 fight. Mm-hmm. I think it is the most even fight on... Like on social media, so far. I give a background on yeah, me yeah, and Bryce. Yeah, go ahead. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. I've known Bryce since I was fourteen. Really? Wait, since I was you, fourteen. You weren't doing anything at that N- point, right? No. So I, I've never had many friends growing up. I've always been like, heavily into the internet. I uh, watched Bryce on you now. When he was in his parents' I don't even know what that is. living Live room, stream. exactly. Okay, exactly. Uh, you now, how would you describe it? It was like a competitor with Twitch back in 2014. Okay. It was like a live stream. Like no one knows about it nowadays. Mm-hmm. But yeah. uh, I would watch him. I can still, in my mind, imagine you on the floor <laughs> of your living room, and I would watch your live streams. I would comment on it, and I think we were 14, 15 at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wow, so what's your history now? Uh, we're friends. We're really good friends. Yeah, we're friends. Yeah, we've you guys never dated, we've never hooked up. No. no, dude, how do you? Who are you with? Or is it just randos? What? Like with chicks? Um, I feel like you're a mystery now. You used to really <laughs> put it out there. Now you fucking keep it real. I mean, I I just like I haven't had a relationship in years. I um, I mean, if I if I like am talking to someone, it's pretty known. Yeah, I I like basically. Do you feel like now you want to keep it off the internet? No. I don't care. Yeah. I'm a, I'm an open book. Would like, you get into a relationship if you met the right person? Yeah. 100%. You would? Yeah. Okay. But I, I feel like I haven't met that person. Okay. Yeah. What would she have to have, like, for you to be willing to get in a relationship? <sighs> like, what kind of traits? Fake, <laughs> fake rat. <laughs> 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 You're a fake rat guy for sure. No, no, no. I didn't what? think Josh would ever have a girlfriend either, and then he met Gabby. But, I mean, I can't blame him. Look at yeah, her. Yeah, I know. Be, Look at be, her. I think be, uh, anyone would uh-huh. wife that up. Uh-huh. Be, it, it, have, it would have to be, like, somebody that, like, has goals in life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fuck like, yeah. Like, not, not, like, somebody that, that? that's yeah, just... Yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah. Not somebody that's just, like, y- using me mm-hmm. for, for like, the things that I have already. Yeah. Would you date a normal girl? Yeah. If she you had would? goals, aspirations, like... Uh, somebody that like wants to do something with their life they're they're not confused i feel like you have to be in a relationship with somebody once you actually know what you want to do in life Mm -hmm. to to focus 100 percent of your energy on somebody you have to know um what you're doing in life you have to love yourself you have to be set on yourself 100 percent to focus your energy at least partial energy on somebody else yeah i feel Mm -hmm. like that was practice was that practice what that whole speech no it's pretty good he's pr trained i don't i don't don't think i'm not good how do you two as men meet girls i'm always interested how people like how you guys meet girls like do you meet girls out are you on dating sites or anything in person in person so you're i'm I'm not i feel like if either of them were on a dating site people would like think they're Mm -hmm. fake for sure why what about you two and what do you think about what he just said like What's what's the three things that you look for, and then you, Brecky, will start with Sky, and then we'll go to you. For me, I would say ambition is huge. Like, if they have something that they're working towards, that is right? so attractive. That. That's so attractive toward to me if they're working towards something because I like being able to like help them. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. I would say. I also like. I wouldn't say the word simp, but I like a guy that's me all too. about me. Like worships me like yeah. he wouldn't even look at another girl like, yeah i don't know what the third it's just ambition and like loyalty and just Let's all go ahead about and hear me from too. i want a guy that's supportive because i've been with boyfriends and they're like oh if you ever make an only fans like no one is gonna ever want to date you they're just gonna want to fuck you so for sure supportiveness um i'm a clean person so they definitely have to be clean and i like clean. when a guy clean is- like how 
Like their place is like their hurt? place has to be clean. Like, like a, a tidy. clean freak. Got it. If yeah. they leave dishes in the sink, no, no. goodbye. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. Um, I, I hate using the word simp because that has such like a negative connotation almost. But like the type of guys I go after, like I have a boyfriend now, and like he's so about me that I don't even worry about if he's um, like yeah. loyal. Like that never even crosses my mind if he's loyal to me or not. I just know he is because he's so about me. So. You give head. I don't even need to. <laughs> but yeah, if you do, like, yo, I'm telling I've you, been uh, with them too, and Nick, literally, every time I've talked to Nick, no, I'm saying the if only you give thing head, he brings up is how much he's in love with Sky. Like, Ricky, I don't know why. I just get this vibe like you're you're kind of like cheating. I'm cheating? Dude, like you, what? Like if, like if no. me and you were in a relationship, like, which no. I would love to do. Okay. But let's just say like hypothetically, like we were in a relationship, like. I feel like it would be you. Why? Why oh, the fuck would you? You're say definitely that? Like not the, loyal. No, a hundred percent. That's the craziest. You know what? I heard, heard you were seeing. Me, I, heard, I heard you were seeing a girl, and then you were like at the same time, like you were like talking to her, maybe like exclusive, just like a thing, and you were DMing me. <laughs> you know what you give me, Stani? Business. You give I'm a me man. that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. getting with girls is like an ego boost. Yeah, for sure. So for you sure. could never be loyal because you need huh. to hook up with girls to get that ego boost. Huh. Yeah. 100%. Am I fucked up for saying No, 100%. And that's not, I'm not like tar trying to target you directly. I think a lot of guys are like that. They hmm. kind of want like an ego boost by like getting you. like the female yes, validation. That's, I feel like that's how most younger guys, guys are, are like yeah, definitely like younger. for sure like 19 year olds but you're a bit older so okay. i'm surprised you're still in that phase okay uh sorry we were just missing out on that. yeah they, I, they are like i walked in on a weird time way, i guess both, i'm gonna be keep it real with you they're both trying to like come at me right now like sexually so i don't want you to feel like you're left you out. guys stop trying to fuck my boy yeah or? it's like it's like a, it's like a two coming at one like yo this is like the crit imagine that at the same time it's weird crazy as fuck but uh we're gonna include bryce that. if you're cool with that that'd be mm -hmm. gross um, what is what is up for you next? Um, champ. Well, I have a your ego is through the roof, huh? <laughs> no, this guy lifted three fifteen the other day. I have to pee now too. Sorry. Go ahead. Go fuck. pee. You don't want to hear about the like, first my time lift? I the first time I was gonna meet Bryce. I was like, oh my god, he's gonna be such a dick. He was. You were really nice. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you. Yeah. I'm actually like a really nice person. You I feel are. Like. I was like, Get that. before I did social media, like I would watch your TikToks, not to be a fan, but I, I saw, like, obviously, I saw you, you watch on TikTok. My TikToks? I saw you. You were dating Addison Ray. Of course, I saw okay, you. And I was like, crazy. this kid is definitely the biggest douchebag, but you're, you're <laughs> nice. Like, when, when I met you in person, you were very nice. So. Yeah, no, I, I feel like a lot of people think I'm a dick, but I'm, I'm really nice and I, yeah. I match people's energy. Yeah, for sure. So, like, if, if people are a dickhead to me, obviously I'm not going to be like, No, yeah. hey, no. you're super cool. <laughs> How know? important is it to be out of, like, being the TikTok guy? Does that matter to you? Like, um, being known as a TikTok. Dude, I don't... TikToker, sorry. As long as you know who I am, I feel like I succeeded. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I really don't care. Uh, what What's next for me, though? Um, Professional poker player? I've been, yeah, that, obviously. But I've been doing, like, uh, I've been doing movies. I've been doing like I've actually I've done two movies since last year. Um, what the fuck? Yeah, they should be Falling coming out. Falling in this, Addison's the, footsteps? No. No. Not. You're not gonna shade her back? That's actually insane. How do you not shade her back? I mean, that's just like insane. That, yeah. that wasn't even that wasn't even a diss. Like How's that not a diss? Is that an actual movie? You think of me doing Okay, he can say following? I'm following <laughs> Livy's footsteps. Oh, oh, I, won't oh, take I thought you meant like it. a movie, like called that. No, no, no. Um Yeah. No, I've I've done uh two movies, one with Fifty Cent, so Congrats. that's coming out next year, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I am gonna be doing a fight in January, a boxing. Not not. Do you think you'll win? Yes. Who are yeah. You, do you, do you know who you're fighting or no? If I thought I was gonna lose, I wouldn't accept a fight. Right. Well, now I have fighting? faith in you after what I saw. Uh, do you know who you're fighting? Uh, Deji. Oh, I don't nice. know who that is. Have you announced that yet? Um, no. Fuck yeah, let's go. But but uh, Deji. Is he, it? It, it, it would uh, like I have no beef towards Deji, but the the whole internet wants to see me versus Deji. Um, Is it inappropriate to ask like how much you're making on these fights? Because no one knows, bro. Um, I don't know if you're making seven figures, you're making half a mil. Like I don't know. Seven, Jesus! If you're making seven, throw me in there. Well, he might be making <laughs> a million a fight. I don't Literally. know. Like, uh, yeah, no. I mean, like I'm. Yeah. Like my main question is like, yeah, so how seven? 
Yeah. When you go into that boxing Jesus. realm, I've been oh asked my to do God. That too, right? <laughs> but I feel like once you go into the boxing Let's world, box. that's the I'm only, down. you're kind of like stuck in there. No, I, I wouldn't say that. I, I feel like if, if you're like dedicating your content to that, like I'm just, I'm athletic. Like I'm, mm. a, I'm, I'm an athlete. I would say like fighting is, um, I was a wrestler in high school. I, I was a very competitive guy. Like I, I wouldn't say like fighting is my my calling, but I'm I'm good at it. Yeah, I can mm-hmm. learn fast. I'm a fast learner. Yeah, I, I like to do it, and it gets me in great shape in a very short amount of time. So I mm-hmm. I like to do it, and then punching people in the face is pretty fun. So especially fuck. when they don't know what the fuck they're doing, like all these influencers. But does that not take away from the point? Like it's like everyone's kind of doing it. Like you see other people, you're like, yo, I'm better. Well, than Well, that's that. why I did bare knuckle. Yeah, I know. So that was a statement. Yeah. Fuck. Against like a pro. Against like a 3 0 pro. I would fight like any influencer in a week. It, I'll give them like, pro- I'd give them months of training. Any influencer that People wants that to fight me. People that are already fighting though? Yeah. Any, any influencer that wants to fight me. Would you guys like mud wrestle? Did you have the same energy your previous fight when you lost it were you still like i'll go up against any influencer yeah you still had it there is no there there is no influencer that is top dog that could look me in the face and i'd be scared of who do you think though could give you a run for your money in in the boxing space who do you think though would be like on an even playing field like that you're scared of none none there's not there's not a single one. Not a single one. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not scared of anyone. There's there's not a human. I'm not saying on scared this. though, but just like someone that like you think it could be pretty even. Or do you go in do you go into the fight thinking that you're gonna win or do you go in thinking like, oh, it's like a fifty? I mean it's a fight. Anything can happen, but there's not one influencer. Like influencer boxer, there is not one influencer boxer that I'm scared mm-hmm. of. Hmm. I, okay, wait, I would, who, I would wait, go who in. are some of the influencers? Well, we know them all. We don't have to list them all. I know Vinny Jake Hacker. Ball, KSI, Vinny Hacker Logan. has one. Yeah. Wait, let's do a comparison really quick. So he's talking about fighting any influencer, right? He's not afraid. What about when you went on set to do Johnny Sims? Like he's like the heavy hitter. Are you nervous and are you fucking? I don't get nervous. But are you like, yo, I'm going against like a top dog. Like I got this adrenaline. Like I got to be the best or no? No, I don't get nervous. Okay. See, it's like, it's the, like same the same thing, thing when, you're, when you're fighting somebody. Okay. I, I was nervous to fight to... my recent. No, but I'm just saying like top dog, boxing. top dog. I was top nervous. Dog. I was nervous to fight my recent opponent. And that okay. was the first time I felt nervous. Mm-hmm. Like to fight somebody. I was like, oh, God, I'm fighting a 3-0 bare-knuckle fighter that has knocked out every single one of his opponents in one round. Like, mm-hmm. holy shit. How the fuck shit. did he beat that guy? <clears throat> I, I was, I was, I'm just naturally heavier. So, like, I had Are you natty advantage. or not? Nah? Am I natty? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you ask it like that? <laughs> no, I just, I'm curious. Like, I'm natty, too. You guys want to ask what natty's for? Are you natty? Yeah. Natural as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm what, is that crazy? Yeah. Me too. No, it was me just as well. We're no, all but, um, natty in the room. So me and Bryce have actually been hanging out a lot because we play poker together. Mm-hmm. So what's up with the new like influencer space on fucking playing cards? I feel like like uh, a lot of people off camera play cards. I have a, a lot of the fans like the gambling space and like poker. And I'm going to tell them uh, you were super tilted when we played at your house. I was. Like I've never seen someone slam money Everyone down. Everyone that plays poker room. just goes to Bryce's house if they're an influencer. I like, oh, yeah, we're heading to Bryce's Bryce's house. I had like a massive game, uh, probably like two weeks before my fight. Everybody had like 50 grand on the table. (laughs) No way. Wait, so is this like a, like a hobby, right? It's just fun. Yeah, it's fun. I'm also like, like, you know, we're like, I'm good at poker. Yeah. It's just fun to play. Yeah, it it is fun. I mean, I like, I like gambling and I feel like that's the only gambling that's actually fair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's just a good time. Yeah, it's like you're you're going against people and not the casino. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Me and Brecky are filming like a a collab. What? Yeah, a collab on my OF. Yeah. No, you're not. What kind of collab? You don't do OF, do you? No, 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 but I'm filming one for her. What's the OF look like? You'll have to find out. What's the collab look like? We're going to have sex. No, you're not. (laughs) Is your dick on anyone's OnlyFans? No. 
I would I'd be would surprised you, would you if that? it was. Yo, I'm going to be honest. I've thought about Bryce, doing that. Bryce, I'm not going to lie. Every time I see your Instagram story, it's with, like, every week, it's with a new OnlyFans girl. <laughs> Wait. And I I've check out their Instagram, and it's e- either this girl with a fat ass or big titties. Mm-hmm. I've heard from people that it's curved. It is. Mm-hmm. Is, uh, well, like wow. a right hook. Okay. Confirmed. Uh, yeah. Left hook. Left hook. Confirmed. Yeah. Was it from the pictures oh, that you saw? Left. Saw? He gave us the it's exact a I mean, angle. That, that's important. It, it's a lefty. Yeah. Okay. Have you gotten any complaints? How'd you guys hear that? Hear what? And who's asking? It by goes the way? around in the no in the L A social. Would you ever yeah. consider doing an O F collab for the bag? Um, we already said he's doing one with me. I mean, I'm doing one with Brecky. Well, what the fuck, Brecky? I thought I was gonna give in for that. Oh no. I mean, do you want to do it with him? I can. No, 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 no. I already told him ahead of time. I've honestly thought about that, bro, because, like, I've been giving it out a lot lately. Really? Yeah. And it's like, why am I... Randoms. Are you a good boyfriend, Steiny? I am. I'm a man. Really? Imagine having Steiny as a boyfriend. I open the door for girls. I fucking pay the bill. Oh, sure. That's the bare minimum. I do. Sure. I do. First of all, I can't see that. I brought you as my (laughs) date to a red carpet event, and you disappeared and tried hooking up with every single person there. It was a porn award. Steiny. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. What are you gonna do? I mean, that's, that's not fair. I know fair. I'm not going you home stick, with Sky. You did he? Am I gonna waste my time? Did you, you? Did you bring him as your like date or like? Yes, I bought him one? a corsage. Yeah, but it was like your plus one. I had a corsage. He had a boutonniere. Like he was. You, like, guess you, what? Was He's never gonna bring you to and you know what? He ran off fuck. with a Bella Danger, Johnny Sins. Did you collab with Johnny Sins? No, but we're. I've been texting him. Not like soon. Coming soon. Not like porn wise, but I Brecky, when are you gonna text. give into that? I don't think no, I'm not. Why? I've just talked to people and they don't recommend it, so I don't know. I also like don't want to put myself in that. I would if feel you were uncomfortable. To collab with any TikTok, I would would feel uncomfortable having Hoping sex with himself. like a guy that I just <laughs> met and like yeah, let's let's shoot this video. It would just make me uncomfortable. Right. So I feel like you have to have a connection yeah. with them, probably. Yeah, too. for yeah, sure. Yeah, Which yeah. I feel like we have. Mm-hmm. Really, you yeah. think? I feel. Yeah. I feel that. Along I with the POV. fifty other girls. There's. It's the not like week? that. You're talking <laughs> okay. to Bryce. I'm not a bare knuckle champ, right? Right. I'm just an idiot with a podcast. I'm not the fucking king. Aww, so. that's yeah. tiny. No, my recommendation <laughs> though is if you're wanting to get it, if you are down to film like a sex scene, like. You need to be dedicated to it. Like, mm-hmm. You need to know I, that yeah. that's what you want to do. Like, if you want to put out a sex scene, that you, you need to know that you want to be a porn star. Yeah. And if you're not down for that, then don't do it. Yeah. Well, everyone thinks I'm gonna, but I, I don't. I've never wanted to do that. And also, I've talked to people that have been in like that industry, and they're like, absolutely not. Don't do it because they all leave it. So. Brecky, how big is your bag right now? On OnlyFans, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's crazy. It's got to be crazy. Five hundred k a month. I don't more. More. Than over. That. Over. Under five hundred k. It's five hundred k a month. Over, over. Under. Over. There you go. Over five hundred k. That's more than me and you fucking make. I mean, I know. She, what was it? Three hundred k in one day. In one day. Yeah. Over. Over three hundred k in one day. Yeah. When I first when I first made it, cause like I feel like I really built up the hype. I was like, oh, there's a surprise coming next Wednesday. And then I went on the BFFs podcast, and they're like, what is the surprise? So like I built up the hype. But you yeah, know what over. I noticed? Too? How much do you think I would make in one day if I had launched one? I think it would be really funny if you made one. I think you should. What with the curve? Just you like, know, like just like you could literally quit penis. it and like. What if you launch it like yo? You don't left, have to like, pose nudes. Like right, yeah. no, but... I think it would just be for the plot. Yo, you so dress up as money. Peter Pan and you dress up as Left Hook because it aims to the left. Oh my oh god. god! And then you're Left Hook and there then she's go. Peter. Should we do that? Or Tinkerbell? You're gonna have to convince me. <laughs> we think how would make... I? How how could I do that? I don't know. You're gonna have to think of it. Okay. <laughs> what? Is he a better shot than I do? I spent equal amount of time with you, but like. I don't know you guys well enough. Right. I met you from a podcast, and then we went to dinner and hung out. And I've met Bryce from hanging out with my friend. If anybody gave you a hall pass, I feel like I'd be that guy. Um, Sky, I personally I mean, do Nick not think Sky would ever touch you. Okay, why would you be so rude and say something like that? Because Scott, I I just know both of you, and huh? I think Sky so is on who another would level. Be the hall pass, Adam Sandler. I don't have a hall pass with Nick. At all, but like Adam. No, she went on. She went on Cody's stream, and Cody said, "Even if you were still dating Nick, would you fuck Drake?" And she said, "No, no, I wouldn't." Well, Drake's not. You know, like let's do like a one that's more impossible. 
Like who's more like, impossible than Drake? Drake's not impossible. I she mean, she could slide he, into Drake's. He might dams. get around, but like Drake is like Drake. Drake can she can slide into Drake's. Dams what about me? I'm pretty fly. fucking specific. Oh, yeah. with Tiny, yes, you are the easiest person in this <laughs> building, and there's a yeah, lot of people in this building right now. That's the craziest see. thing I've ever heard. Stiney. I just naturally like am a likable person. And I Wait, really what sh- were you saying at dinner? If you have you a were- hole, Stiney will fuck you. <laughs> um, so many guys out there that kidding, are listening to this. Well, if you're a female, that. I guess probably, yeah. What's the body count, Bryce? What's my body count? Yeah, yeah just give it not high. It's not give, high. Give the number. Digis. No. I what? think you told me it before. Yeah, and it I was surprisingly Sky. low. Yeah, Sky, you say it. Wait, you know that by heart? <sighs> this is fucking weird. I it's, it's no, I remember asking him it. It wasn't super high. Was it less than twenty? No, it's higher Bro, than you're twenty. Bro, you're tripping. It's higher than twenty. I was gonna say less than twenty. Would was shock it? Me. It's less Fuck. than a hundred. Wow, that proves a lot. Thank <laughs> yeah, you, Bryce. You know. Thank you. So yeah, Brecky. mine's you, under triple digits. Everyone likes to say that mine's in the triple digits. Yeah, mine's less it's than eight. triple digits. Mine's twelve. My interest is no longer okay. as important. Okay, Steiny. What? Steiny, you would literally fuck any porn star if you got the chance. Yeah. What's, but you but, don't get the chance, would, so. Okay, but that's way different. There's way different between me trying to have a relationship, which I feel like we have a genuine connection, and then me trying to get paid to do that. Like, it's just different. You think or there's with a, a connection? Star. Yeah, I feel it. I, mm, okay. You even felt that? No. It's on the friends level for sure. No. Uh, it's definitely it's, one it's sided. For friends, yeah. It's okay, right. yo. Okay. So anyway, um, Brecky, <laughs> oh. when do you think you're gonna stop with the pirates jersey and stop being fucking the wannabe sidekick? Fucking stop playing with me. Yeah, uh, it's, it's not like it's an right ongoing now. thing with the pirates jersey. It was two videos. Why not just fucking? And like I said, I don't, I don't talk about that. my hookups on the podcast. But. So you're saying you're 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 insinuating that you hooked up with I'm not Livy's. insinuating anything. I said I don't talk about You're any- insinuating that you hooked up with Livy's boyfriend. I won't talk about it. Yo, you're fucking crazy. But it's like Becky. it's like a yes or no. You could just be like, yo, No, didn't she didn't. I'm not talking about it. That's my answer. But Scott, you're you, saying you Scott, don't you kiss and that? tell, so you're insinuating that you did. I mean though. like sloppy seconds or sloppy seconds. Well, who's first? But like, is and it how really fast? Sloppy? That's okay, really a quick. secret that we'll what, never need. What if to know? I actually have a fucking crazy changeup and I can pitch too? Like straight up, I play a softball league with the old men, and I can throw crazy and I hit home runs. Like, am and I in that league? There you go. Then I hope you. But find why a does girl he? Why does it have to be Livy's guy? Like, why can't it just be me as myself? It has nothing to do with Livy's man. He hit two twenty-five. Two twenty-five. He hit three fifteen. I hit two twenty-five. I I don't believe that. First of all, no, he did. He hit two twenty-five. You're just defending him. No, okay, no, yeah. there's a video of him. There's a video. Really? Yeah. 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 That's pretty impressive now. That doesn't make you honestly, any girl want you, but sure. What about 315 now? I don't know. I don't know the, that's the numbers. I don't that's, give a fuck, honestly. You could honestly. say a random weight, and I'm like, that's I'm like, okay, cool. Well, that's good for you. I don't care. Yeah, like, I lift Sky, how much do you weigh? Sky, I Sky, you weigh like 135. Yeah. I could incline bench you right now. I weigh 130. That's pretty accurate. I'm benching... 3x you yeah so like oh, three wait you you're fit. Like you look you... much more fit bryce thanks since i last saw you you're 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 built <laughs> yeah not to that's be a good ego, compliment that's but... a good compliment brecky honestly thanks. without that rack I you could just bet you a hundred times ego really? so yeah. much look I at how he's he doesn't smiling need it. right now he's... he doesn't need it he has the biggest smile <laughs> he's gonna get the best right sleep tonight yeah he just said that with brecky yeah no 100 percent okay Oh yeah, my yeah. god, here we go bad. again. I'm joking. We Unless you're down, like, we can... you know, Steiny feels left out right now. <laughs> oh, I thought we were, you were going there. I, going I mean, Steiny okay. was about Sky, it last Sky, podcast, you... but... Huh? No, we had a whole, like, plan and shit. Well, Sky, Sky's a boyfriend. Wait, what's what's the biggest turnoff possible? Uh, my biggest turnoff, I would say... This might be kind of niche to LA, but when I go out in a social situation and a guy acts like he's, like, known... Or something, but Imagine he's not that, re- like he acts like he's like friends with everyone and like no one like actually. Who did is that? Friend- you. No, shut the fuck up. Seriously, that is so you, Steiny. Okay, let's seriously. Who did that, Sky? <laughs> you. When I when we went to the Pornhub Awards, you acted like you were the shit. Well, I was nominated for two fucking awards. Why would I not? You didn't even know what the Pornhub <laughs> Awards okay, were okay, until I. Okay, so, been yeah. nominated if I. Want. So thanks, Sky, for putting you on with all of your connects. I want to hear it right now. Right, he Sky's, wouldn't have Sky's gotten. Sky's been the greatest. Yeah, ever. obviously, but you've never thanked her. Yeah, yeah. All right, here, we'll play a game. 
Biggest turn on and turn off of Steiny. Um, the biggest turn off, turn off for long. me is that you're like a liar, and I don't like that you just try to get girls through your money. Like, but know off, your worth. Turn, turn on. Turn off. Turn, turn off. On. Okay, Sky, go ahead. Turn Honestly, on, I can't think of a turn on, but a turn. I can't either. I'm sorry, Steiny. Be... I'm trying to think, and it's just not coming to my mind oh, right now. It's crazy off camera. It's layups. I'm fucking Stephen Curry in the paint. A Go turn ahead. off would be that I feel like you use me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Brecky, Brecky. Wait, I already said well, Bryce, Bryce over here is saying he would date a girl that's not on social media as me long too. as they as long as they liked him for him. And you're over here flexing your money and your when clout have I my money just once? to get a girl <sighs> like you should know your worth. You know, just show them who you are. Like if you want a girl that likes you for your money and clout. You're doing a good job of getting one like that. Okay, what about for him? <laughs> Go ahead with Bryce. Turn off. Um, TikTok douchebag. You're very flirty with... The fuck? I've been in a group of girls with you, and I feel like you'll flirt with pretty much all of them there if they're, like, right. eyes conventionally on the prize. attractive. On, eyes on the prize right. type thing. Bryce is easy. Yeah. Okay, but I think a turn on is that you're <laughs> confident, but you're not too confident to the point where you're a dick. Like, you're, you're still very nice to everyone. You're respectful. So. Yeah, that That's is crazy. the thing. Bryce is very nice. He's mm -hmm. nice, but you're a little easy. Easy. We didn't I would, even have I'm sex on... the first day. <laughs> oh my god, it's crazy. Definitely went down. <laughs> Definitely happened. Dude, if an easy, not, if an not. easy, easy you would be on the like first, first day, day, which means yo. No, no, we never had sex point. ever. Not even any like dick sucking or anything. Oral. Crazy. What no. I'm what, which I'm saying, if yeah. I was easy. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that have happened? I feel like you were in, you were scared. I, was, I feel like Bryce has done scared. a good job though. Like everyone peaks and has their <laughs> downfall, but Bryce has had a, done a good job of like his peak, and then he's like still there, you know? Because everyone still like watches Absolutely. his TikToks yeah. and knows him. He rebranded himself. Everyone still mm -hmm. thinks he's a funny person. No, he didn't fall off. Yeah, in my good opinion, rebrand no for sure. It's no. Still, off. he's still like there. Who said anything about falling off? You said. So, like, at the peak of your TikTok, well, I'm saying, what do you mean? At the peak of He's your TikTok still... and at the peak of your fighting, what do you think has been a better, like, moment? Well, obviously, every time a fight happens, it's like, the views are... Because everyone's yeah. watching you. But, like, as long as you're getting, like, a milli-plus views, I feel like you're still, like, a... But what's been better, when you were at For the peak sure. of your TikTok or peak of your fighting career? Peak of fighting. <laughs> yeah. Like, mm -hmm. it, the build-up to the Austin McBroom fight, I was getting... <laughs> it, it was actually ridiculous. It was, like, two million... YouTube views per video. Wow, uh, good for you. Five, ten million per TikTok. Wow. What about Damn. the chicks? What's that like? Were the girls just sliding at that point? Well, I had a girlfriend at the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had a girlfriend? Yeah, I was dating Addison. Oh, okay, okay. That's so, so like, that's so I was like, thinking recent. Old, I was though, like, right? no, I haven't, that's I haven't old, had a girlfriend. Right? I, I haven't had a girlfriend in two years. No, but the Addison shit's so old. We know. Yeah. No part of you misses that, right? No, no, no. That was like a. Are you tired of talking about it or is it like. Everyone whatever? brings I mean, it up. I, I always, I, I'm like a very open guy. So like if somebody asks me about it and people get mad when I talk about it because it's in the past, but it's like, it's part of my life and yeah. I feel like yeah. it did grow me as a human being. For sure. For sure. Like yeah. any relationship grows mm -hmm. me as a human being. I'll yeah. talk about my relationship before Addison, but nobody even asks me about that mm -hmm. but like, when's the last time you talked to her she changed so much i was watching her tiktoks the other day i was like what is going on like no fucking a year a year ago probably two year, year ago two year i don't know do you ever think like let me just send a text message does that ever go through well my head? number's new so even if i did send a text like she wouldn't know it was me your number got leaked my old number yeah but i changed it but it's like I'm a very open person, so I like I talk about all of my past, whether it's yeah. No, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. You're dope as fuck. Yeah, Thanks. I agree. Every time, every time we've ever hung out, Matt, you've been cool as fuck. Same Here with Sky. Dick You're... Rider Steiny. No, I'm I'm keeping it. No, 100. I actually like, agree. Bryce I'm gonna, is I'm nice. Gonna, I'm gonna to keep it real. There's a lot of people that are like in this influencers that are, and like. Go ahead, Brecky, Please, I would love to hear. What no, you have sorry, to say. I interrupted you. I was gonna say, Babe, go. Bryce Babe, is nice go. to people. <laughs> no, don't call me that. Okay, sorry. Um, Bryce is nice to like his fans that he meets, and he's also nice to like new people he meets, like influencer wise. Like he's never, I've never seen like Bryce be a dick. Yo, and, in this industry, there's a lot of fucking assholes, a lot of fake people. For sure, but you keep it a hundred every time. Yeah, you get a buck every time with right. me. Same with Sky, Brecky is <laughs> whatever. Um, what? What? But yo, I would, I just want to say I'm gonna wrap it up here. You said yo. wait, wait, no, 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 no. What oh, was you that? keep it real. It's fuck. I do. Yeah, you do. thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you're very sweet.
Thank you. It's a good way to end it. Need my yeah. shit back. With I love you guys, mm-hmm. and I yeah, cannot wait till it. we uh, start a podcast. Us four. Wait, 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 wait. I'm that gonna, would I'm be wrap it up. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's the third time Bryce has lost his mic. Yo, uh, Nervous. this guy's <laughs> the yeah, biggest badass right now. <laughs> Fucking bare knuckle champion, right? Well, I wouldn't say in a weight class or what. Um, I am a oh, I'm a one and oh bare knuckle fighter. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, Undefeated bare knuckle. I have fighter. a lot of accolades. We're not gonna waste our time fucking going through all of them. It'd be too long. Sky's fucking Sky Bree, the fucking best. Brecky Hills, fucking in a pirate's jersey. Go watch her TikTok. She's the goat. <laughs> and uh, yo, bro, we appreciate you coming on. Appreciate all of you coming on. One night with Stani. We're just getting started. Everyone's lit. Yeah. So uh, let's go. Let's rage. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you.